Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. A little better shape than when you last saw me if you were looking at the last video. Also, I uh, I still, my, my eye is still hurting. There's pain there, but it's not running constantly. And I can have some lights on here, maybe more than I really should have, that are, uh, so I, I think I'm a little bit better. I called in to the uh, hospital uh, and talk to you know one of the uh, doctors that was on call I explained to him that uh, I have when I wake up in the morning about 7 a.m. extreme pain uh, really bad pain and the light just uh, wipes me out uh, you may have seen, if you watched the previous video, I think you'll see what I'm talking about. And I explained that uh, that goes on for from 7 a.m. in the morning to about 10.30 or 11, and then it starts to get better. And as I proceed through the afternoon, and it's about 2 p.m. now, you know, it seems to get, it seems to get better. And then uh, when I get to about 11 p.m. or whatever, uh, nighttime for me, I'm able to lay down and go right to sleep, and I don't wake up, I don't think. Uh, well, I do wake up eventually, thank God. So, uh, anyway, the doctor that was on call, I explained to him, and uh, he he asked me if, if the surgeon had asked me the next day, when I came the next day, you know, uh, anything about that, and I I said, no, I really didn't. And he said, well, he says, what we would recommend would be uh, how do you put it? Uh, giving you he didn't mention a name for it, but giving you such and such. He said, the only problem is that with that is uh, it uh, could have an adverse effect on your pacemaker. Now, I was, you know, trying to be, not take up too much of the doctor's time here, and then that pacemaker, I thought, you know, okay, we were talking about the eyes, pacemaker, and that's what I was saying, my mind was, and I said, well, I don't want to compromise that, and he said, you know, he said, really, he says, why don't you see if you can, you know, go for two more days and see what the situation is then, and he said, because we don't want to, you know, compromise the pacemaker and I said I agree with that a hundred percent and so I said okay and I got off the phone and I thought pacemaker you know I was thinking you know the implant or something but he said pacemaker so he was talking I do have a pacemaker and I don't want to compromise that either <laughs> you know so I'm just going to for the next two days and what is today anyway uh, it's Saturday so for the next two days, I'm just going to try to put up with the pain. I've had worse eye pain. I, I alluded to it in, the, I think, the previous video, maybe. I was a welder for quite a few years, arc welder. I built gigantic, well, not gigantic, I built regular coal hauling, you know, railroad cars. And then uh, later, I uh, worked building... Uh, can't remember the name of them. Uh, large trucks that haul, uh, well, they could haul a bunch of different things, but large trucks that haul, uh, you know, big, big cans of beer, uh, bottles of beer, Coke, you know, Pepsi, those type of things. I got my head split open there. Uh, I was underneath the truck and <coughs> somebody knocked a C clamp off the top and that came and got me on top of the head. But no damage. There's not much in the damage in my brain, I guess. Uh, <clears throat> then I went on to uh, build gigantic trucks. I mean, big trucks. You, unless you've worked out in that industry or something like that, you know, you picture a truck. Uh, big truck? No, big truck. <laughs> big, big truck. We had to build them and then take them apart so they could be shipped to South Africa. And then some of our people had to go along. I didn't have enough seniority to. Uh, then they go down into coal mines 
often refer to the mines, whatever kind of mines they are. And, uh, we put them back together. And but anyway, as a welder during those years, I had my eyes burned uh, several times. Not a lot. You know, you need to be careful. And when I say burned, I don't mean, you know, like a blow to a uh, acetylene torch or something taken to the eyes or whatever. I'm talking about the reflection of somebody else welding usually behind you or bouncing off a wall or something like that. And that, you want to know what pain is. It feels like hot sand has been thrown into your eyes, you know, and uh, not pleasant. So I can put up with pain. Hell, I was married for 12 years. That proves I can put up with pain, right? But, um, so, I'm, feel, I'm glad I called a friend on YouTube here, rec you know, said, Jim, call the doctor and, you know, because he'd gone through the same thing, uh, but not as bad a pain, he said, because he saw my video, the one previous to this one, and he had gone through some pain, but he said, nah, <laughs> you know, you need to, and I did, so I took his advice and called, and I'm glad I did, because now, I, uh, you know, I'm not as worried, and, you know, and uh, I've got drops that I have to keep using here, be time for, I think I'm going to take the drops here in the next 30 minutes or hour, and then I'm going to think I'm going to lay down and go to bed for a while, see if I can sleep. I've been able to go to bed about 11 p.m. and, uh, <coughs> and sleep. I have a uh, thing on PayPal uh, asking for donations or whatever. Somebody already donated some money. I appreciate that. Um, I have, you know, health insurance. And the only thing is it's not paying for $200 of my right eye and it's not going to pay for $200 of the left eye. And... Uh, so, if you can make a little donation, please do so. If you can't, I, I understand I've been, uh, I don't want to hate to say poor, you know, but let's say financially inadequate or something, you know, or not having enough money or something. Uh, worked a lot of jobs during my life worked for you many years two jobs you know one full-time job and uh, one part-time job and I worked 30 years in hospital security and I worked other jobs you know we my, uh, had a uh, former wife and I well we, should, we weren't former then uh, we had a tropical fish business for four years that's she had a tropical fish when she was little, and uh, we met just at the time that she was uh, setting up her tropical fish shop, and she told me to get away from her parents, but I think it was to get away from her parents and me, <laughs> so but we lasted uh, 12 years. So. Um, One thing the uh, doctor did before I left, you know, the next day after the uh, surgery that I had on the 6th, on the 7th, I had to go down. And uh, so they, I got, you know, they showed me what I'm going to have. And this is the right eye, you know, but when they do the left eye, they were able to, you know, they said, you know, so the, ER, the doctor was not there, but the, you know, showed me, you know, and said, can you read the letters? And uh, I was getting them all even down pretty much to the bottom line. So if everything, if nothing messes up here, I'm going to have very good vision here. I'll be 83 years of age and I'll have, you know, good right and left vision. So that's good news, I guess. Too bad it didn't happen earlier. My fault, you know. 
I put off going to the eye doctor for the... I've got several doctors I need to go to, by the way. Uh, skin cancer doctor for the top of my head. And then some other doctors they want me to go to. Um, two, I, I hope soon that I'm going to uh, get the sort of video that I had before. And, you know, if you've seen some of the older videos, I hope to get that. I'm thinking about it, which is probably a big mistake, is uh, there's an updated version of which one is it? Ah, I forget. The Linux version, which one is it? I can't remember. Uh, it's $47 to, uh, to get it. Like I said, it's Linux. Now, of course, there's a bunch that are free, but I used this one in the past. This is an updated version. I used it in the past. I am tempted to do it, but then I'm also tempted to learn cut, cap cut. I could probably do really well with that also, but I'd have to learn some stuff. I'm too old to learn. Um, by the way, if you want to make a donation, it's, there's a link someplace, and it would take you to PayPal, and then you would see the little thing that I wrote, and uh, you could donate there. Um, OBS Studio, I should go back and visit it. I don't know what I'm going to do sort of, uh, things have sort of changed. I want to do some things, but I want to do them better than what I'm doing here. I think this thing's freezing okay, 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 it's okay, it's okay. I think it's freezing a little bit, but, um, a 12 minute video. Um, I hope that I can lay down and go to, at late at night I can I lay down and as far as I know I don't roll around I crunch myself up or something in bed and I sleep a certain way and I may move around to sleep another way but I'm you know yeah, I'm, I don't know if you can tell but I'm having like twinges of uh, pain occasionally. Uh, why don't I tell you every time there's a twinge? And it's unpleasant, starting now. I don't think. It's I think it just did it a little. By the way, my upper eyelid, before I left the, on the 7th, when the doctor was checking me after surgery on the 6th, uh, she put my head in one of those, you know, things, you know, hold your head. She said, lean forward into it, you know. Well, and, uh, you know, then she, you know, pointed to the assistant or whatever, you know, my upper eye. I think there was an exchange of, you know, yeah. And so then uh, the doctor pulled out this really, really small needle thing, but it was flexible, you know. And then she's bringing it towards my upper eyelid. Well, you know, let's see, one over here. No, it's not. It's the one here. I get confused when I'm looking at my, <laughs> and anyway, I thought, this is not good, you know, she's coming toward me, coming toward me, and I'm looking straight ahead, you know, I didn't feel a thing, and then a little bit of uh, fluid came out, and they were pleased.
pleased, and I was pleased. Uh, I think I'd have been better if they uh, could sneak up on you or something with that. You know, <laughs> no, I'm sure that's a bad would be a bad idea. You know. Anyway, uh, thank you all very much for supporting Jim Howard and Howard's Notebook. It's been a lot of fun and a lot of work. And I've made so many mistakes, you know, going directions I shouldn't have gone and stuff like that. Probably the volume is not. <coughs> I have other microphones, but I need to, yeah, I want to take a nap and maybe mess with the microphones a little bit. Uh, thank you very much.